Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm very excited. We're gonna have a look at the new dresser in Time Princess. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So the dresser has always been the same. It's right here on the side on the menu. So far for the past, like how long? Three years now uh, has been uh, the same, but because of life maker, where we're all 100% sure that's why competition is healthy. They had to step it up. So now we have a look at the whole new character creation. It looks so good. Okay, so it says the dresser has received a complete upgrade. Your previous makeover data will be replaced. So go ahead and give yourself a full makeover. I have a screenshot of my old character next to here. Also the one you see in the thumbnail. Let's see, you can change both your body shape and facial features here. We've prepared some face shapes and tones for you so you can also choose the proportions of your head and legs based on your preferences. I think I got it. You don't have to show me. Oh, and you can import and export your character. So I think I'm going to put mine up so you guys can have it later as well. Don't forget to save everything as you're done. And ooh, okay. All right, so we are wearing the outfit that I'm currently wearing. That is pretty cool. It is the fancy fair outfit. So let's start with overall. Let's have a look. So it does keep my outfit on. I really like how different all the characters look. Definitely way better. And on the top here, you can save as different slots. So you can make several ones. It's pretty cool. Here you can share it. Oh, the animation is so cute. Then you can add the makeover ID if you want. Copy the makeover ID or save the picture. I see. Start with my original face. Oh, we can take off the hair for now. Let's do that. I'm going to zoom in right here. I have two skin textures. This one is very ashy. So I think I'm going to go with ink one and then we have a lot of different colors. I like that we have dark skin tones. It could be a little bit more variety, but there's like a different undertone. I think I'm going to go for this one right here. You can change the U. That's really cool. And the saturation as well. So you can just make her bright orange if you wanted to. Same goes for brightness. That is awesome there's so much creativity here right, i think this is a good shade for me and we have a face shape this also makes a huge difference the way your character looks i think i like the last one the most i think that suits it the best and then we have difference for makeup which i assume you can also change i think i like this blushy one it's kind of cute they also have some darker makeup ones which is kind of nice but that's not my style so we're gonna go with the last one as well and then oh we love our head size i think it's the same that i had it on no i like it on like 35 if that's fine. And leg length. <gasps> Oh, okay. You know I'm Dutch, so I'm tall. I love that. Oh, I'm not going to make her 100, but I am definitely going to make her like 85. Oh my gosh, I love that. For her face, we have a lot of details. So we have the same as all the cheeks and stuff. I do really like the presets that I already have, so I don't think I'm going to change the most here. There are so many nose options too. I like that because their nose were like way too downwards, you know? This looks better to me. Oh, you can change the upper lip. That's so cute. Oh, I love the way my character is looking she looks like a little bit like a baby but i think that's cute look how cute if you do the lips like that we do a little bit less thickness but she's so cute one thing i'm also really excited about was the eyebrows i saw them in the teaser they looked really nice and i want to change the color oh gosh i wanted to have like a light brown blondish the thing with eyebrows is if you look too long at them they're gonna look weird so i think i'm gonna go with the thinnest one these look fine to me then another thing the contact lenses there are a few that should be more available to purchase later i would assume so oh this one is really pretty and we can change of course the color and the the sclera i didn't even know it was called that i want like ink no i want blue eyes these are really pretty oh my gosh i love it and then for the eyelashes we have a lot of more options i think i do like them long and wispy so either the last one or this one but i think this one is better and i got also change the color but i want just dark lashes i think that's the prettiest <laughs> you can make your eyebrows <laughs> go both ways you can have a lot of fun with this <laughs> that's so funny okay i'm not really basing it on my old character but a little bit i do really like the eyes like this i don't want them too big well they are <laughs> for the ears we also have a lot of options but honestly it's a little bit smaller and then they're fine to me i don't want to play around with that one too much and we're saving it oh my gosh she's 
really cute. I'll probably end up changing again later, but... And if you are wondering to use my code, it is 1001593. You can see it here in the bottom as well if you want to use my face character. Ah, cute. And with a new face also comes a new outfit. I figured we can do a new custom couture together because it's been a minute, right? I just don't know why our default hair is red. Hold on. I'm not really sure. Whatever, let's make an outfit. I want to use this one again because I don't really feel like making a long dress. I wanted like a modern looking outfit. I have gotten some new prints also from the current event that we have going on. I think it's the polka dots and it is this one. So I feel like we should use it definitely. I'm going to use it on the top here and we're going to make a dark red outfit. I think that's cute. Or I want to do pink. Maybe a bit of a dusty rose looks better, honestly. And then for the sleeve, a, a red. Oh, this red is beautiful. Let's use that on everything as well. And then this is about the same colors is good enough. And I have some new texture. So honestly, I feel like this one is kind of nice for the bottom here. And for the top, I do want to use a different fabric. I think this is a leather. Can we go for a shiny fabric? Honestly, it's kind of eye-catching, but it makes the pink look more dusty. Let's go with leather. That's better instead. Okay, that's really cute. And then for some added texture, I did want to add something on the sleeve. I know it's a bit much, but more is more in my book. So I like this one and I'm done buying and saving. That's a pretty expensive dress, but that's okay. Very cute. Mm, I might end up changing the cheeks later because I think they're a little bit too buffy, a little bit too squirrely. Now time to make her outfit. I really don't know how to change her default hair and I really don't like that. We have a fast button here now for the custom made outfits, which is really nice. I mean, I don't like this like red hair, but I just want it to be the one I had. I don't know why it is like that. I'm going to change her cheek. I can't stand it. Hold on. Okay, I think this is way better. So if you want to use this one, it is one zero zero five six a three two i i'm keeping both in case you want the one with the cheeks but i prefer this one all right i found the pre hairstyles i was just blind i'm just gonna go for honestly i don't mind the one hair that we had i just want it to be a different color love her new hair so much i really like this and it's just a free new hair basically let's add our new outfit and then time to dress it up let's just add a lot of red accessories if i have them overall i'm really pleasantly surprised with the changes they are very nice especially all the changes with the U slider even for the skin tones that's a really nice touch I really like that I love that we can change the hair color in literally any color we want that we're gonna have lenses in the future for probably like future like a Jerry outfit maybe for stories even well we haven't had nails in real stories either but I really like that all I want to say is I'm not sure if I like the background we have it makes looking at the outfit a bit clearer but it does look a little bit dark I don't know if I like that that much so I'm gonna change the background to this one that's a little bit brighter and that is our final result i haven't changed my character's face in like forever so it's unfamiliar looking at her but i do really like the way that you changed it i can't wait to see everyone's different characters uh, it's really gonna make everything a lot, a lot more different i feel like a lot of had the same face syndrome and it's definitely gonna be changed now let me know down below what you think of the new changes i am very happy with them thank you all so much for watching i hope you have a great day and i'll see you in the next video bye